and this is why I made this video because see the floor that happened because I wanted to be able to organize the two school supplies. I just dumped it right on the floor a week ago. In this video, I am slowly clearing off one shelf at a time and moving things from our dining room into the library. Ultimately, this is gonna change over to the homeschool room and I'm bringing you along for the ride and talking about one thing that is consistent through all decluttering and organization projects over the last four years. I am in the middle of converting our living room, what we also call the library of our house, into an actual homeschool room for us. We have been, for the last several years, homeschooling in our dining room, and I want to set up a designated space where we can leave some messes and not have to clear the table in order to eat our dinner. In tackling that switchover, I am resisting the urge to pull everything out of this room that doesn't belong and creating myself a bit of a blank slate. The reason I am avoiding the urge to do it that way is because it's going to make a massive mess of things that don't have a home. And I know my energy level and my interest do not match a massive project like that. I have to take it in pieces to avoid creating giant piles of clutter and dealing with it at a later date. So I sit in front of the puzzles uh, that will actually end up clearing maybe one shelf, even though there's two shelves of puzzles, because some of these puzzles I do want to reserve to have in the schoolroom, and then other puzzles are just for fun, like the Cinderella puzzle, the Toy Story puzzle. Those aren't necessarily school puzzles, even though they could do that while they're waiting for lessons from me, because I have three kids and I have to separate. By the way, my name is Erica Lucas. I share videos about slow and simple living, and I am forcing myself to slowly <laughs> Uh, do this switch over for this room. And so I'm trying to tackle it category by category. And I've picked puzzles because it's easy for me. I already know where I want them to go in the house. And the reason I wanted to share this particular video is because this step, choosing a home for items, is mission critical to simple living, decluttering, minimalism, basic organization. And if you are not interested in any of those categories of living with less, just basic organization in your house requires everything to have a home in your home. It is a foundational part of setting up a room, organizing um, something for homeschool, your dining room, your kitchen, your family room, your bedrooms, your bathrooms, everything. Everything needs to have a designated place to avoid it becoming clutter. It might still become clutter if the habit of putting it back to its home uh, isn't didn't take place that day, which I'm guilty of every day. Uh, things just, we live here. Life is messy. One of my uh, childhood best friends, we had been friends for 42 years, uh, came to visit last week and I just apologized in advance. My house is a mess. I'm, I'm not cleaning it for you because of who you are to me. I know I don't have to clean my house for you. And she said, I would expect your house to be a mess. Life is messy and you have small kids. And her, she just immediately made me feel better knowing that she expected us to be living in her home. She did not expect it to be perfect. She expected it to be welcoming and just to spend time together. She didn't care that there are shoes on the floor, that the puzzles aren't put away, whatever it was. So. That just, as a side note, made me feel amazing because at the start of this, more than four years ago, I definitely didn't have people over to the house. We had so much stuff and our house was just dirty and I, because I couldn't clean it because of the clutter and the stuff. And I even researched whether or not I was a hoarder. <laughs> That's how much stuff we had and didn't invite guests in. I was embarrassed of anybody except for my parents. Um, and even then I had a little bit of shame because I didn't want to keep my home the way it was. And I've made so many changes over the last couple of years, but one foundational string throughout all of this, a thread throughout all of the years, through all of the decluttering decisions and all the organization systems is that everything has to have a home. So I'm doing puzzles. I might do something else in this video. We'll see how the momentum goes. I'm gonna leave the school puzzles because this is ultimately going to become the, the school room. And I'm gonna take out the puzzles that I want to rehome somewhere else in my home. It also gives me a chance as I touch each one to see if we really still want to have it in our lives. 
safari puzzle. This is fun. Cinderella puzzle, also a good one. We've got Toy Story, Frozen. These are all keeps. This cute little dog puzzle. This is also really cute and fun. Santa puzzle. This belongs with the Christmas stuff in the basement. All right. Periodic table puzzle. This is going to stay in the school room. My nine-year-old has been interested in the periodic table for years. So, okay, USA floor map. That's going to stay. Raya puzzle. That's going to move. World map. This box has been taped. <laughs> <laughs> and this puzzle has been uh, created in our house probably a hundred times. So we're keeping this. All right, down here we have, this is one of my favorite U.S. puzzles. It comes with the pieces and each state is its own piece, uh, for the most part anyway, which I, which I find great. So I'm going to keep this one. Avengers puzzle, that's going to move. Okay, so this one, Mapology, US, it, the U.S. with capitals. I'm going to keep this one, and I'm going to keep it in the schoolroom because this is actually our focus this year uh, you, for my third grader and my fourth grader. And it comes with a foam base. And then you just keep the pieces in a plastic bag, and then you take the flag, and you put it in the in the puzzle piece this one is the world with flags and capitals my fourth grader loves this puzzle so i will keep it we happen to have it in this kind of a case which is probably a better case in the plastic bag but we'll have to see if i have any more of this style upstairs i tend not to buy anything to organize until i'm done a project and then i can figure out what size i need so can i get this all onto one shelf let's see these kinds of puzzles are one way that we practice geography that we're learning. It's also a great way for uh, two of my kids to do together while they're waiting for the one-on-one -on -one time with me in homeschool. So that's why I'm leaving this here. Um, and I guess what I want to do is maybe stack it so that I bring it up the shelf. My ultimate goal here is to free up shelving. For school stuff. I did it. Now I'm going to show you where I'm going to put this. Good job. Thanks. I love it. Okay, you back in. Pretty happy with how <clears throat> that shelf got cleared. This we're in we're in discussions on where this will go in the house. My husband said just get rid of it because she's already practicing eleven hours a week. She wants to practice her kip every day for gymnastics team. So I'm thinking it'll go in her bedroom. I have a, a few safety concerns about that, and I may just have to set up. A bit of a family rule where if she wants to practice on her bar, she just needs to ask me or my husband to come upstairs so we're upstairs with her for safety reasons. The other spot would be the basement, but it's a concrete floor and I would want a lot of extra padding. This is going to be a craft cabinet. Uh, I have been organizing it in my head, material-wise, watercolors, acrylics, felt, things that they can pull out and make something or use for book report dioramas, whatever. That's gonna be here. This top drawer slides out like a desk. They can pull a stool over or a chair, sit here and create. I like that idea. Right now it is my daughter's arts storage. So I would have to rehome the things in there for her. Some of those things are crafts and would stay. I asked my soon to be fourth grader, my nine-year-old. I said, envision this room as empty. Where do you want your school desk? Cause he wants a school desk this year. Right in front of this window. That's what he said. <laughs> and I said, do you think looking at the window is going to hinder 
your schoolwork? He goes, no, I think it's so peaceful to look out the window and I'll be able to just see the sun or see the rain and get my work done. Okay, <laughs> he got there mentally. I'll make it happen physically. I've already started pulling out watercolor stuff because that is gonna be a focus for the fall for us. We're gonna be doing a watercolor class and I want to get something where I could just grab a bin and it's time for watercolor. I'm actually thinking of redoing the shelves so that my teacher supplies are organized in that way rather than the way I have them organized now on the cart. And I'm thinking of these from the container store. What I'm gonna do right now is just see if there's anything else that I can simply and easily rehome to get a little progress on this room before we start school. Photo albums, that would clear five shelves. That would be humongous uh, <laughs> progress, but I don't know where they're gonna go. The spot where we just put puzzles was where I was thinking, but that's not gonna work out now. Um, I'm also thinking maybe their bedrooms. If I could somehow designate a really special basket or place, they can have their own albums in their bedrooms. And now that I said that, that's probably what we're gonna end up doing. And this is why I made this video, because, see the floor? That happened because I wanted to be able to organize the two school supplies. I just dumped it right on the floor a week ago. <laughs> and it's still here. Uh, and that's what I don't wanna happen. I don't want to, I don't want to do that because I've just made a, a different mess for myself and it's been sitting here for a week because I don't want to deal with it. Uh, ultimately, I just need to pick out the parts that are going to stay in the schoolroom and then move their other books up to their bedrooms like they have. I just haven't done it because my energy has not matched that job. Well, my interest. And it's a great job for children. And now that I just said that, that will be a child's job. I'm going to pull out the things that are going to be read alouds or assigned reading and then they're just going to move up. I'm just going to do it right now. I'm gonna stop talking about it and I'm gonna do it. Okay. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up. Okay, so we cleaned up that mess, dealt with puzzles. Things have a home, starting to clear this room out. It feels manageable. I didn't leave a mess behind. I feel actually pretty great about this. Okay, thank you for sharing part of your day with me by watching this video, and I hope you're doing well. And here's another video right above Ranger and Becca. Ha, ha, ha.